you guys. It's currently four in the morning. I just woke up and we finished packing all of our things. We're on the way to the airport to go to New York. rental car now but my mom almost didn't make it on our flight I had TSA pre-check but she didn't and she literally waited 40 minutes in line at security that is not an exaggeration I had already boarded the flight and I was texting her like where are you but luckily she made it on time it would have been really bad if my mom would have missed the flight because a, that was the only flight going out that day, and B, at the camp that I'm going to, if you're under 18, you have to have a chaperone. And so even if I wanted to go by myself, I technically wouldn't even be allowed to because I'm under 18. So we're here now and we're starving. It's 10 o'clock now and we left our house at around four o'clock this morning so it's been a long time and we haven't eaten anything the airport that we flew into was a pretty small airport in what seems like a fairly small town so it was a little bit of a struggle trying to find a restaurant that was in the direction that we need to be going so i pulled up this place on my phone and i don't really know what to expect it might be sketchy i'm not really sure so we're gonna check it out and see if it's questionable or not so the place that I found for us to eat actually ended up not being too ratchet. I, the food was not the greatest, but the people there were nice and the vanilla latte I got was good and it was really cute and aesthetically pleasing so that was a plus hey guys so I haven't vlogged in a little bit because I was kind of stressed out so we packed up all of our makeup in a makeup bag and my mom thought that I had it in my bag and I thought that she packed it in the suitcase so in other words it just ended up sitting on the kitchen counter neither of us put makeup on early at four in the morning because we just figured we could do it after we landed and we ended up going to walgreens and got some drugstore makeup and we're looking a bit rough but it's just gonna have to work for now i called my dad and he's going to overnight our makeup to us so we'll look better tomorrow but that was just kind of stressful so i didn't really vlog any of that I wonder if they can tell how dry and crusted my face looks right now. Maybe from far away you can't tell. <laughs> now we're finally on our way to Cocorochas. I am seriously going to be trying to play it cool when I see her, but I will actually be screaming on the inside. <laughs> how am I gonna do that? I'm just gonna... <laughs> what? But this is gonna be face to face. Like, I'm going to be seeing Kokorocha in the flesh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <sighs> golf City. gas station? I don't think I've seen a golf gas station since the 1970s. I didn't even know that existed. I don't think anybody knows it existed. It exists. Except for in this town. 
That place is called Dairy Plus Express. Oh, they're not in business. Oh, yes, they are. Hmm. <coughs> All right, so update, we are currently on the side of the road because now we have a flat tire. To confirm, 4290-1462-7G. I thought I could, I'm just afraid I'm going to ruin the tire more. You know how they say if it's flat, don't ride on it because it could ruin the actual wheel of a car? But... Now our car has to get towed and there's a police coming to flash his lights so that everyone knows that we're parked here on the side of the road so it's not as dangerous so nobody comes and runs us over. So the policeman just got here. <laughs> and then I don't know if you can see but that's the situation. that's where the closest Avis is and we have to return our car and get a replacement so we're on our way back to the airport now and it also kind of feels like the other tire is about to go flat too so I really hope we make it to the airport without another flat tire nothing like this has ever happened to me before so this is definitely an experience Airport take two, everybody! We got a new rental car. There she is. Hopefully she has no flat tires. car in the van and we are on our way to Kokorocha model camp take two of Kokoroch's model camp. If you're wondering why I'm talking kind of quiet, it's because there are a bunch of girls staying in this same house and I don't want to wake them up or anything because I don't know if some of them are still sleeping or what the deal is. Last night I didn't really vlog that much because after the whole fiasco, we basically just got here and then we had dinner and orientation and then Coco reviewed our portfolios. Let me show you guys the room. Sorry, my stuff is kind of everywhere, but this is the bed. And then there's a little picture on the wall with the flamingos. There's the AC. There's the closet. There's a little side table with these water bottles that they gave us. And there's the back of the door. <laughs> and yeah. I'm about to head over to the main house for breakfast. I'm in the lodge right now because this is the house that I was assigned to. Right after breakfast, we have a pose class that I'm really excited for. The schedule is pretty much all booked until 8 o'clock tonight, so I'm going to have a pretty busy day. I'll try to vlog as much as I can, but I'm not really allowed to vlog during class, so I'll see you guys when I can. This is where I'm staying. And now I'm going my way to breakfast. And that's the main house. 
is right there and that's where we have all of our meals and we also have some classes in there too.
Hey guys, I just finished my shoot. I loved my outfit so much and I got to wear over the knee boots with it. I actually have a pair like the kind that I wore really similar at home. So I'm kind of partial to that style I feel. I'm so excited to get my pictures back. I can't wait. I'm learning so much and having so much fun here. Some